Hello, my name is Joseph Weinstein, and I am presenting to you today from Massachusetts Maritime Academy's Emergency Operations Training Center, the headquarters of Mass Maritime's Unmanned Aerial Systems Corps. Our Unmanned Aerial Systems Corps meets and prepares in the Emergency Operations Training Center. Today, I will be presenting my research on critical infrastructure planning. Over a six-week internship period, I worked and conducted research alongside the Academy's UAS Corps on how we can best utilize UAVs for critical infrastructure planning. To understand how critical infrastructure planning works in communities, it is important to first understand what critical infrastructure planning is and why it is important. Critical infrastructure planning demonstrates the community's ability to preserve and protect infrastructures both physically and financially. The preservation of physical and financial aspects of infrastructure are prerequisites to the safety and longevity of any community. Additionally, it helps to alleviate the risk of damage caused by hazards. There is no infrastructure exempt from a possible natural disaster or hazard. All communities are at risk of damage from hazards at any time. Also, critical infrastructure planning provides for a safe physical environment and serves as a foundation for a community's financial stability when there is damaged infrastructures. Our most efficient approach to critical infrastructure planning is by utilizing drone technology. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, have capabilities that standard photography or imaging lack, making the usage of this particular technology the most efficient and advanced approach. UAVs contain abilities to capture images from a variety of angles and altitudes. This ability is crucial when working with larger critical infrastructures in a sense that a standard camera cannot achieve the same set of diverse images. UAVs also enable image precision, efficient data collection, and a safe deployment. These key features result in clear and precise images with unique information of the image recorded by the UAV. Specifically, the UAV collects longitude and latitude points for each image captured during a drone mission. The UAV then allows for a feasible transfer of this information to any geographic information system, otherwise known as GIS. GIS allows for observation of images with all the information recorded by the UAV to be displayed on each image. Additionally, UAV imaging contains several other benefits, such as utilizing the imagery as pre-disaster records of critical infrastructure locations, which can then be used for post-disaster federal grants applications. This particular feature displays the financial benefits of UAVs and the imagery produced and captured during drone missions. The process of utilizing UAVs for critical infrastructure planning can be split up into three phases. Phase 1 preparation, Phase 2 drone missions, and Phase 3 utilization of images. Beginning with Phase 1, there are several actions that need to be taken prior to the drone mission. After establishing the critical infrastructures and their precise locations, mission day clusters in a route will maximize time efficiency on drone mission days. This is a crucial component of the preparation phase due to each drone battery consisting of a typically 30 minute lifespan. Alongside the Mass Maritime Academy's UAS Corps during my internship, a DJI Mavic 2 Dual Enterprise was used, which had a similar lifespan of approximately 30 minutes. Additionally, it is imperative of the drone pilot to charge all drone batteries to optimize drone flight time. Moving on to Phase 2. When utilizing the UAV, a safe deployment must be ensured at each critical infrastructure location. Once the UAV has been deployed, the required images of the infrastructure can be captured from a variety of different angles and altitudes, as discussed before. However, before each deployment, the drone pilot must ensure that the infrastructure is in a no-fly zone, or that the UAS team has received prior authorization to fly in a restricted area. UAVs have additional capabilities that can be programmed to notify the drone pilot whether the location is in a no-fly zone prior to takeoff. After all images are captured, the images can then be transferred from the drone to another device. Phase 3. During this phase, the images be captured from the UAV will be transferred to GIS or another computer program, which will allow communities to utilize the images for several uses as discussed earlier. For example, being archived for further uses or be used as an addition to federal grant applications. 
There are several challenges that are associated with operating UAVs that must be considered when capturing images of critical infrastructures. The drone pilot must be familiar with the rules and regulations given by the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA. For example, UAVs must not be deployed within a 5 mile radius of an airfield or airport. This particular issue I ran into during my internship period, which I found solutions for by contacting the nearby airfield ahead of time. Travel time between locations is another challenge that may impact the time efficiency of the drone mission. It is important to keep in mind that drone batteries typically have a lifespan of around 30 minutes, which cause time management to be an important factor to consider. Another challenge I have encountered are weather conditions. Drone missions must be planned accordingly so that there is no rain, snow, or strong winds on the day of the flight. Some locations may need special permissions prior to the UAV being deployed and could result in illegal usage of the drone if not dealt with beforehand. Additionally, the time of day may present challenges as too much sunlight may impact the resolution of drone images as well as having too little sunlight during the night. These challenges are realistic in every UAV mission. However, there are several solutions that can be acted upon ahead of time in order to prevent these conflicts. Here we have a photograph of a water tower captured by a DJI Mavic 2 Dual Enterprise. This UAV was operated during my six-week internship period working on critical infrastructure planning in Massachusetts. As you can see, the altitude from which this image is taken is far higher than any other type of infrastructure photography and still results in a clear and precise image of the location. As observed from these images, this is the same water tower featured in the previous slide. However, it is now taken from other altitudes and angles. On the left, we have what is called a balcony view of the water tower and on the right is a slightly angled property view. Each image captured by the UAV is tailored to the drone pilot's preferences on how to best capture each infrastructure. Key takeaways to remember from this presentation. 1. Critical infrastructure planning helps to preserve and protect both financial and physical aspects of infrastructures and communities. 2. UAVs are our most efficient approach to critical infrastructure planning. 3. The UAV approach may result in several challenges that can be overcome with preparation beforehand. And lastly, four, UAV images can be utilized for a variety of purposes that financially benefit communities. To end with the advice of CEO Vishal Sika, we need to embark on a human revolution, a revolution where our reality is not replaced by drones but augmented by technology to do better. Nowhere does this apply more than to critical infrastructure planning and the precedent that should be set for ensuring the physical safety and financial stability of every community. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction into UAV technology and critical infrastructure planning. Thank you for watching.